My research uh, focused on asthma and the epidemiology of, uh, of chronic respiratory disease more generally, um, looking at how new types of technology, digital health, might help us uh, both understand the burden and management of, uh, of the disease in communities and, and individual households, and then also um, to think about new ways in which we could use technology to help um, improve self-management and, and outcomes for patients and their families. In the U.S., uh, prevalence of asthma and COPD has continued to increase over the last few decades, but there's really no great explanation for, for why this is happening. One of the things we're trying to do at Propeller is understand how exposures that might be causing symptoms are distributed across the community. So what can we learn about when, where, and among whom asthma and COPD are happening so that we can then apply that information to public health? So at the end of the program, we made the decision to try to build a commercial version of the system. We created a company with two other folks and took the technology off campus and began essentially creating the first commercial version that was finally cleared by FDA in 2012. So Propeller Health has designed this sensor, which fits on top of inhaled medications for asthma, COPD, and other respiratory disease. And so when an individual goes to use their medication, the sensor is able to collect the date and the time and the number of puffs, as well as a GPS location of use. So all of a sudden we have access to information on where and when and how frequently people are using their rescue medications for asthma, which really gives us a signal into when people are experiencing symptoms, attacks, and because we have the information on the time and the place, we're able to pull in all of the relevant environmental and neighborhood information that might be driving that rescue inhaler use. We currently have about 35 commercial programs running with health plans and systems across the U.S. Each of those programs has between 50 and around 1,000 people in them. One of Propeller's most important programs is with the city of Louisville, Kentucky, and the Institute for Healthy Air, Water, and Soil. We've been working with them for a number of years to build a program in the Louisville metro that gives residents of the city access to the Propeller technology at no cost. So the process was um, you know, kind of the best of sort of citizen science, so a real community-based initiative where we worked across our entire city to get uh, people excited and enrolled in an experiment, essentially. And you know, we had several hundred people uh, participating over 18 months, and we found clusters of asthma events using this propeller technology. And for the first time, we could see asthma in our community as a more localized phenomena, not as a sort of citywide phenomenon. We know that there's a lot of variation in the geographic exposures that cause uh, symptoms of asthma and respiratory disease, but until now we haven't had a database that taught us about uh, where and when those were, those were occurring. With the information captured by programs like uh, the one we have in Louisville and, and elsewhere, we're really able to see for the first time this new perspective on the distribution of asthma symptoms and the exposures to things in the environment that cause symptoms to develop. I couldn't be more impressed with Propeller because of their way that they continuously learn and improve as a company. We've been working quite some time together now and I think they saw in our city an authentic desire to improve our population's health through better air quality and reducing asthma suffering and they had a pure mission and we said hey let's work together and figure it out and get better together. And that's what's taking place right now.